Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Magpie Moon Child. my name is Kaylee. Um, if you hear any birds tweeting or cars going past, it's because I've got my door open because I'm really enjoying the spring sunshine today because it's beautiful and we've had rain all week and I'm just like, no, I'm having the sunshine today and a bit of fresh air. Anyway, this is your general weekly tarot reading for the week ahead. As always, the housekeeping is down below along with the subscription channel, uh, subscription button if you feel so inclined with regards to uh, subscribing, following the channel. Um, I kind of feel like communication's a big thing for you this week. Somebody is uh, talking the talk but not walking the walk. Um, they are out for their own benefits. As I was shuffling, there was a couple of cards that fell out, which was somebody is very quick to say they'll do something, but their actions don't necessarily follow suit. Or they say they're going to do something and then they take something for their own gain, their own means. Um, so it's just about being aware, especially with uh, Mercury retrograde at the moment, it can be with faulty communication. Not every, not all the information is given, um, but I kind of feel like they'll use that as an excuse, like that wasn't what they meant when they said something, um, but they are going into this knowing what they're doing. Um, and the fact that it was it was the Knight of Swords and the, and the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Swords is somebody that is um, out for their own ends, their own means, and they will worry about it later. It's not um, entirely pure intentions as they um, come out the other side of that. So it's just being mindful that people may say one thing and do something completely different and then exp try and um, explain it away as, oh, I didn't mean it like that. It was X, Y, Z, not um the way you thought I said it um they're going to imply that what they said isn't what they that they didn't say what they say in the way they said it but they did um so yeah be very mindful of somebody who's making false promises to you this week or false agreements uh let's see what we have for you for this week you have the nine of wands this is the nine of wands is nearing completion of a passion project of um Something that you're very passionate about, very driven about, very talented towards. Um, the page, uh, the page. Why do I say the page? It's got nothing to do with the page. Well, it has to do with the page in a way. But, uh, but yeah, the nine of one. If you look, that mouse is very, very near the top of that uh, crop in order to get his berries. Um, if you look, the other, the other ones are all stripped bare. So it's kind of like the last reserves, the last thing to either complete his task of collecting all the berries or it's one last push to get the only food that is there in order to survive, to thrive. So the, the nine of wands can either be I'm very near the end, but it's also I'm very near the end in the sense that I've done all that work already and I'm tired and I just want to get it finished, or it's literally I have to have this because otherwise I'm not going to survive. It's not going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's all or nothing kind of situation. Um, and it, I, it's all often my uh, once more into the fray, once more into the battlefield, giving someone more chance, one more chance, investing that one last fight in order to kind of get to the end result. Um, it's one last push to get a project finished. It's that one last time. You know it's going to be hard work. You know it's not going to be easy. I mean, look, that's he's already had to climb the the hill that it's on, and then climb the pole to get that last bit of berries. Probably thinking I should have done this job first, and then it wouldn't have been so hard at the end. <laughs> Um, I don't know if anybody ever did a beanbag race. I always thought, well, if I go to the end one first, I've got the shorter runs as I get more tired. Because the first time I did it, I did the short runs first. And that was really tired to get the end beanbag race because there's always like four beanbags in a row anyway. Um, but yeah, it's about one last big push. It's going to take a concerted effort in order to get to completion. So whether that's one more time in a relationship, giving someone one more chance, do that one more chance. It's their last opportunity to show you that they are willing to put the investment in, but be prepared that the outcome, you know what I mean? That the mouse could fall. He might not reach the berries. He's not there yet. He just sees the end goal. He's nearly at those last berries. He may complete his task, but something may happen. Um, it's not likely, but something could happen in order to get, but once we get to the 10, we get to that completion, that the task is done, that everything's kind of completed in this passion project. So it's about one last, one last push, one last concerted effort to do this i kind of feel like this is to do possibly to do with a relationship because you also have the two of swords and the two of swords is about um not wanting to make a decision right now not wanting to or trying to find a really hard decision and it can be a head over heart decision and if it is to do with a relationship and you're going do i give them one last chance or not um as long as you're not in any kind of toxic situation where it's um going to be a detriment to you um, I would say yes absolutely I mean only you can make this decision 
if this is somebody who says they're going to commit and then doesn't, as long as you're going into that, probably aware that the the latter is going to be the, the actual reality that they're probably not going to. But you for your peace of mind, you want to give it one more go, um, then yeah, absolutely. But if this is someone who comes in and they become controlling and abusive, please do not go back there. Please do not go back there. Um, I kind of feel like for your peace of mind, you'll want to go back and give them another chance. And this is the head, sound it out, see what happens, send out a, the signal, because that's what bats do. They send out a signal and it sends back, they, what they get back is the information that they go on in order to try and get the fruit to get what they, what they need to feed on and to navigate their way. So this to me is suggesting giving something one last go, like hit, sounding someone out, giving them one last chance to explain their side of the story because the, the source is communication. But it's also about recognising that there is a back record. It's not about just starting from scratch. It's like, this has all gone on. And yes, I'm prepared despite that to give you one more go. But I'm not going to forgive and forget that this happened. I might forgive it, but I won't forget that this happened. So if you do it again, I am actually out of there. Um, it's sort of giving them the chance to make the decision for you. It's about giving them the rope in order to kind of um, hang themselves, so to speak. Um which I would never, that's a metaphor, I'm not in any way suggesting someone should do that. Um, it's about giving them the inch to see if they take the yard. It's about seeing if they take the mick um, and giving them what they need to trip over themselves, basically. If they don't trip over themselves, then that's great. Then that's you've made the right decision to give them another chance and you can move on towards this fruitful end. But I kind of feel like they are gonna, unfortunately, because this is blocked, this isn't one way or the other, this is this is blocked energy. I kind of feel like they are gonna trip themselves up and they're not gonna meet up to your expectations. But I think for your peace of mind, you're gonna have to give them that one last chance because you're, you, you might kick yourself that you didn't give them that one last chance. Um, but please do not go back into that situation if there is any form of abuse there. That's, that's my big plea to you as a person, as much as a reader. Um, if, if there is any form of abuse, physical, mental, financial, please do not go back there. Or if you do go back there, please have some form of protection going into that environment. Um, because again, I think they're just going to fall back into old patterns quite quickly. Um, and I, it really does. I'm really getting once more into the fray, once more into the battlefield. Um, and if it does feel like a battlefield, then perhaps you shouldn't be in that environment in the beginning. Um, yeah. Anyway, I hope that is of some use to you, Sagittarius. Hopefully I will see you again next week or for the monthlies and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.